So I am the comms coordinator for the undergraduate awards. I joined Lou when she was the, the Lone Ranger of the undergraduate awards uh, <laughs> um, last year, um, in April last year. And we've kind of uh, gone from strength to strength ever since, since then. I mean, when we first started, it was just at the sort of infancy of the, uh, the UA's ambition to go international. And uh, Louise and I started on that, that uh, gallant journey towards internationalization of this Irish initiative. Um, and then we came across Sal, who's busy being amazing, running around doing the Sally thing, coordinating everything right now. And Sal was our intern and she joined the team. So the three of us together have, have built UA into the international entity it is now under the, what we like to call the, the wing of Mama Hen. <laughs> So um, today's yeah. been amazing, and obviously, as Louise is the program director, <laughs> da -da -da -da, I'd like to hear what you've thought about today. Um, I have loved today. So um, I think one of the really fun things for me about um, today, and generally, what we're trying to do is just seeing all the students get on so well. So much, yeah. um, because it's really that's what we're all in this for. Um, we like to think that in a way, this is sort of it's. The students are the winners here no, no matter what, so if you submit, we, we don't charge anyone to submit, we don't, um, we like, we ask them to submit coursework, so it's something like they've already put their heart and soul into, and yeah. we just, we just want to give them a bit of an extra boost with that. So, um, so like, that's always our number one, so to have like the guys who rise to the top, and then to rise to the top again, and then to have all the winners here, and then we've also like, we wanted to throw in more, and we wanted to get the highly commended here as well, so they're also here, and so what's really nice is like, okay, we finally got to this stage and they're just, we're all having a really good time. Yeah. And um, that like, that whole, there's a nice feeling of that throughout the whole thing that so, that somehow it stays at the awards ceremony Oh, completely, as well. yeah. I mean, I think like just seeing them together and seeing how quickly they bonded. I mean, within a few yeah. hours, they were all chatting and like integrating yeah. and they were also passionate about what they were talking about. And I think for me, it's always such a highlight to see the person behind the Essex. We, after the, the judging process, we just get this name and a college and, yeah. and the essay title and then when you actually meet this amazing character behind it that's yeah. always the biggest rewarding yeah. part of the summit for us and I think this year it being bigger and better from last year um, and we'll obviously continue to do so it's, it's mm. hugely exciting it's always really good when you meet these people you're like geez you know through that one essay that we just like the only contact that we had with them we've actually found some incredible people oh like, really, really incredible phenomenal people. and one of actually I think it was Laz, uh, Professor Lars Goodman who po touched on this in the Batman versus Einstein workshop um, she was saying how so often she found that the focus was always on these star pupils and it was only about like who came top in the class and I think what's exciting about us is that they were actually the mark wasn't, wasn't released, no one knew what the result was. We knew that they were top class students because they were getting a 2.1 or higher or equivalent internationally. Um, but it, it, it wasn't about the grade, it was about the idea and it was about the, the research. Yeah. And so it really brought to the fore students who may not have always been sort of top dog mm. in their class and now suddenly they're realizing, they're just giving them that sort of that endorsement and hearing their stories last night about how surprised they were and how much, yeah. how, how that's encouraged them to go forward it was That always rewarding. amazes me that the, the, the people who win who are invariably excellent students yeah. are always the ones who are surprised that they won. Yeah, exactly. They're, like, <laughs> they're so modest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we're always like, but you're clearly extremely talented. <laughs> and maybe, and that's kind of another thing about what the awards is all about and why today is really important and, and tomorrow, the award ceremony, um, is that uh, like, there's an element of students need this because mm -hmm. they would need to get, uh, to have that boost. That at that age, you know, when you're coming out, you've just done like four years of being told everything and you've taken in so much information, all you feel like is a novice. So it's really nice then that's, that I think everyone at that stage has got this kind of low confidence and that's the one thing that we can provide is confidence boost. Oh, hugely <laughs> so. And I think in, like, what's been so exciting about this conference model as well has been the fact that um, there's no other, I don't think there would be any other situation that this intimate as well where they would get exposure to all these people from entrepreneurs to researchers to just genuinely impressive people doing impressive things. Um, has just been that's an education you can't get in college. It's really exciting. I can't wait for it to grow. No, me too. <laughs> yay, 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 yeah, you win. <laughs>